Imagine being in a place so vast it takes light, the fastest thing in the universe, over 100,000 years to travel from one end to the other. Welcome to the Milky Way, our home galaxy. A swirling mass of stars, dust, and gas, so large that it's hard for our human minds to truly grasp its size. Picture a disk, a flattened sphere with a diameter of about 100,000 light years. That's the scale we're talking about. But the Milky Way is not alone in this cosmic dance, it's just one of an estimated 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Each one teeming with billions, even trillions of stars, each star potentially hosting planets of its own. Yet, despite all these celestial bodies, space is mostly just that. Space. It's incredibly empty. The distances between these stars and galaxies are so vast, they're measured in light years. That's the distance light travels in a year, at a speed of about 300,000 kilometers per second. Think about our nearest star neighbor, Proxima Centauri, it's just over 4 light years away. That means the light we see from it today actually left the star more than 4 years ago. We're looking at a celestial time capsule, a glimpse of the universe's past, and remember that's just the nearest star. When we start looking at galaxies outside our own, the distances become mind-boggling. The Andromeda Galaxy, our closest spiral galaxy neighbor, is approximately 2.5 million light years away. These vast distances, these empty stretches of space, they make us realize just how small we really are. We're inhabitants of a tiny planet, orbiting an average star, tucked away in the arm of a galaxy that's just one among trillions. Think about this. We're on a tiny speck of dust in an unimaginably huge cosmic desert. Have you ever experienced true silence? In space, silence isn't just golden, it's deadly. Picture this. You're floating in the vast expanse of the cosmos, but instead of the familiar cacophony of life, there's nothing but an eerie quiet. This is because space is a vacuum, devoid of a medium for sound waves to travel. On Earth, sound waves move by vibrating particles in the air, water, or any other substance. But in the cold void of space, there are no particles to vibrate. No vibrations, no sound. Now think about how this impacts communication. Astronauts can't simply shout to each other like we do here on our home planet. Instead, they rely on radio waves, which can travel through the vacuum and carry information from one point to another. It's a chilling reminder of the isolation that comes with exploring the final frontier. In space, no one can hear you scream. Bullets are fast, right? How about a cosmic bullet traveling at 1.3 million miles per hour? Now, that's a speed to reckon with. We're talking about cosmic rays, essentially particles accelerated to near light speed by some of the most energetic phenomena in the universe. These cosmic bullets are not your ordinary shooting stars. They're high energy protons and atomic nuclei, zipping through space at a staggering pace. Cosmic rays, despite their name, are not rays at all. They're physical entities, subatomic particles that have been fired off from distant celestial bodies. Imagine a particle smaller than an atom, packing a punch with the power of a fastball thrown by a major league pitcher. And what does this mean for our brave astronauts out there? Well, these cosmic bullets could pose significant dangers. They can damage spacecraft, interfere with onboard electronics, and even harm the human body. In the face of cosmic rays, even the fastest human-made objects are sluggish. What happens when a star dies? It can create a black hole, a place where gravity is so strong not even light can escape. Imagine a cosmic beast lurking in the shadows waiting to devour anything that dares to cross its path. That, my space enthusiasts, is the power of a black hole. Now how does a star transform into this terrifying monster? When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravity. The collapse triggers a supernova, a massive explosion that can outshine an entire galaxy. But what's left behind is even more fascinating. A black hole. These black holes are not holes at all but incredibly dense objects with immense gravitational pull. So strong in fact that nothing, not even light, can break away once it's been ensnared. This is why we call them black. They are invisible to our eyes, hidden in the cosmic darkness, only detectable by the chaos they wreak on their surroundings. Now let's talk about spaghettification. Yes, you heard that right, it's a real term in astrophysics. If you were unfortunate enough to fall into a black hole, the immense gravity would stretch you into a long, thin strand, much like a piece of spaghetti. This is due to the extreme gravitational differences at each point of your body. Your feet would feel a stronger pull than your head, causing you to stretch out. A rather peculiar and certainly hair-raising way to meet your end, wouldn't you say? But it's not all doom and gloom. 
black holes play a significant role in shaping galaxies and possibly even the universe. They may be the key to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, a testament to the infinite wonders that lie beyond our reach. Black holes are the ultimate cosmic monsters, seemingly defying the laws of physics as we know them. Yet they are an integral part of our universe's story, a chapter that we are still striving to understand. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember the invisible beasts lurking in the shadows, and marvel at the incredible, terrifying, and awe-inspiring power of black holes. Think winter's cold? Space is colder. Much, much colder. Out there in the vast expanse, temperatures can plunge to just a few degrees above absolute zero. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is absolute zero? Well, imagine the coldest thing you've ever felt and then go colder. Much, much colder. Absolute zero is the chilling point where no heat energy remains in a substance. It's the lowest possible temperature, a spine-tingling negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, or for our American friends, negative 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. At such frigid temperatures, atoms come to a near standstill, barely moving at all. It's a cold so profound, so absolute, that nothing in our ordinary human experience comes even remotely close. So when you're bundling up against the winter chill, remember this. In the cosmic cold, even the warmest coat won't help you. Ever used a vacuum cleaner? Space is the ultimate vacuum cleaner, sucking up everything it can. Unlike the vacuum cleaner we use at home, the vacuum of space isn't about cleaning up, it's about the absence of stuff, particularly air. This absolute void, this nothingness is difficult to comprehend because we earthlings are accustomed to pressure, to air around us. But in space, there's no air, no pressure, no sound. Imagine holding your breath indefinitely, that's what space is like, except you wouldn't be able to hold your breath because the vacuum would cause the air in your lungs to expand, leading to a rather unpleasant outcome. Can you imagine what that's like? In the vacuum of space, your body would bloat, your blood would boil, and without a proper suit, you wouldn't last very long. It's a stark reminder of just how hostile the universe can be to us, fragile creatures. In the vacuum of space, there's no room for mistakes. What if I told you that we can only see about 5% of the universe? The rest is made up of dark matter and dark energy, things we know almost nothing about. Imagine staring out into the night sky, tracing the constellations with your eyes, and realizing that what you're seeing is only a tiny sliver of what's out there. It's like standing on the shore of an ocean, looking out at the water and realizing that the surface is only the beginning, and beneath it lies depths that are largely unexplored and unknown, that's the universe for us. We have theories, we have observations, but when it comes to dark matter and dark energy, we're still in the shallows of understanding. These are hypothetical forms of matter and energy that are thought to account for approximately 95% of the mass and energy in the observable universe. Dark matter, for instance, is something we can't see or detect directly. Yet we know it's there because of the gravitational effects it has on galaxies and galaxy clusters. It's like knowing there's wind, because you see leaves rustling, even if you can't see the wind itself. Meanwhile, dark energy is even more enigmatic. It's believed to be the force that's driving the universe to expand at an accelerated rate. It's as if the universe is a balloon that's not just inflating, but inflating faster and faster as time goes on. These are concepts that challenge our understanding of the universe and our place in it. They remind us that there is so much we don't know, so much we can't see, and yet so much we are a part of. From the smallest particles to the largest galaxies, from the seen to the unseen, we are intertwined with the cosmos in ways we can't fully comprehend. Dark matter and dark energy are just two of the many mysteries that make the universe a fascinating and humbling place to explore. The universe is full of mysteries and we've only just begun to scratch the surface.